Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 76, I think. <laughs> um, I'm in the bedroom. Devin and Jesse are in the living room. Jesse just kind of had a meltdown because he had to come inside because it's really cold outside. Well, it's like 40. But uh, we're getting ready to go out and uh, play, find somewhere to play that can distract him because he loves playing outside in Canada now. Because it's, it's getting in the evening, so it's getting colder by like the minute. <laughs> but anyways, I actually have a lot of finished objects this week. Let's see here. I have one, two, three, four, five finished objects. I don't have any active whips. I do have some whips kind of hibernating like um, the Norwal and the Christmas Cushion something else oh a shawl but i haven't touched any of those in forever and also the sophie's universe i just haven't worked on it this last week so i'm not even going to show it it's the same place it was last time i showed it so i do have five finished objects i wanted to share with you guys um let me turn this lamp on maybe that'll help a little uh, kind of not really <laughs> okay so one of the first finished objects i want to show i actually started last year in may um I don't know if I was making it for the fair last year or if I was just making it for decoration. It's a Christmas project. And for some reason, I got it uh, like 95% done and then set it down and just never went back to it. And I've been moving it from, or as, I, as I cleaned the house the last almost year, I would move it from place to place to place. Um, saying, oh, well, I'll finish that, you know, later. I'll finish it later. And I never did. So I finally, um, I was cleaning uh, the room that it was in, our dining room slash uh, utility room where the washer and dryer is. And I pulled it down from the shelf that I stuffed it up on. It wasn't even in a bag. It was just stuffed up there. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit down and finish this. So I sat down and finished it um, yesterday or the day before that. I can't remember. But it's a big Santa. And he's not the greatest, but that's okay. Let me fix him up a little bit. Ta-da! He's huge and floppy because he's like a, a ragdoll style. He's big. But um, when I put him up, his whole entire body was done and almost all his hat was done. So when I pulled him down, all I had to do was finish his hat, which was just this long part, and the pom-pom, put on his eyes, and make his beard. And uh, I don't know why I stopped last year. I just got bummed out with it or something, and I just stopped. He does have a belt there when he's sitting. Sometimes his beard covers it. But um, this is a free pattern by Sorella. Let's see here. Yeah. Huggable Santa Claus by Sorella, and all my links will be down below. And it was really easy. Uh, I think it calls for a bulky weight yarn, but I didn't have any. Because I don't ever use bulky weight. But, so I just um, doubled up worsted weight. And it came out really awesome. I had a plan to make him and the Mrs. Claus. Because she also has a Mrs. Claus pattern. And I don't know why I never finished it. Um, I don't know if I just got busy or bummed out or whatever. <laughs> Something just happened and I quit working on it. But I did pull him out and finish him. His beard took forever. <laughs> took the longest because it's just a bunch of yarn. Um, I made the first two layers really thick and then... The rest of it, I just kind of thinly did it because, you know, it's covered. I thought about brushing it out to make it, like, um, fluffy. <laughs> but uh, I think I'll just leave it stringy. I like the way it moves and all that. kind of took me a while to trim it, but it's still not perfect. But that's okay. It's just a decoration. <laughs> it's already got a stain right here. Something Jesse got on it, I guess. Um, the pattern was supposed to have safety eyes. And at the time that I made him, I didn't have any big safety eyes. So uh, I just didn't give him any eyes and uh, so I just crocheted him two little circle eyes and I think the pattern has a, a stitched on nose and I didn't do that I just left it and yeah so um the hat I'm not sure if it's 100% right because I didn't follow the pattern to the end when I picked it up it was like up here somewhere and I just went ahead and just made it that way just is hard for me and a very pom-pom but yeah I think he's cute Jesse likes him and I'll either set him somewhere around our house for Christmas or I'll give him to my sister because she showed interest in him last year so if she still wants him she can have him. Uh, yeah. I probably will never make Mrs. Claus though because I guess I didn't like this pattern is why I didn't finish it but it was a good pattern and I've seen on Ravelry where people use the same pattern but made a smaller one uh, one person even made a little tiny like uh, tiny amigurumi size one but yeah so there's him he's done <laughs> alright the next one what is the next one okay the next finished object that I did, and let's see here. This was the next one I finished too. I made him, and then I made this one, and yeah, okay. So I made this the same day that I finished the Santa. I had like a kick of finishing things, <laughs> or doing things that needed to be done. And this is the, I think the fifth square in the Unraveled Mittens um, 2019 scrap 
square <laughs> crochet along. I can't remember what it's called, but it'll be linked below. And this is called the paired double crochet. What was it? Paired double crochet square. Yeah. I just made it in a purple color. I like this one. It was pretty good. It's basically V stitches. So it was super fast. I made it, you know, really quick. It only took like, I don't know, 20 minutes to make. I think I was watching a YouTube video while I made it. I like it. Would make it again. <laughs> uh, it pretty much came out the size I needed it. I only had to go around it, I think, twice with single crochet border to um, make it the right size as the other squares, approximately. <laughs> I don't think any of my mine are the same size exactly. But that's okay. Once they're all sewed together, I think it'll stretch out and look fine. Hopefully. <laughs> so, I haven't started the newest one yet. It's come out. It's like a the stacked bricked one. Brick one or something like that. Uh, I've seen it, but I didn't have it started yet. And the next finished object that I finished, this is actually pretty funny. <clears throat> I was contacted on um, Instagram to test this, and uh, I'll link uh, her Instagram and all that below. She wrote this pattern and wanted me to test it, and a few other podcasters also tested it. And I was, <laughs> I was in like a mood that day when I made this tur or this turtle. It's not a turtle, frog. Um, it just shows that different things affect your tension and all that. So it was. This was supposed to come out <clears throat> about eight and a half inches tall. Mine came out like a foot or longer tall, and I could tell just by looking at it that my tension was really messed up. And I don't know how I didn't notice it the day I was making this. I think it was just because I was just in a different mindset that day. I was having a bad day, so I'm. I finished it. <laughs> it looks horrible though. I think because there's a bunch of holes in it. Um. But Jesse likes it. He's been playing with it. And it's just giant. <laughs> I know Terry made it for sure. But here he is. He turned out way bigger than everybody else's. And I used an H hook and worsted weight yarn. He's real dirty because Jesse's been playing with him on the floor. But he turned out super cute, I think. I love the pattern. His eyes are up there. Those were the biggest safety I'll add. <laughs> so they look kind of small. But um, I didn't stitch his mouth on just because I didn't think he needed it. But like right here, you see how big those holes are? That's something I never do in my amigurumi. I'm always really particular with these holes because I don't like the stuff in showing. But that day I was just having a really bad day and I was just, I think I was just um, emotional crocheting and I didn't even notice it until I was completely done, sewed them together and I was getting ready to take pictures of them. The next day is when I realized how poorly crocheted it was and I think it was just because my attention was different because my mood was different if that makes any sense. But he's still adorable and Jesse still loves him. He also has a little baby bottle. <laughs> This, this pattern comes with it, and Jesse's been feeding him and stuff. It's really cute. He likes it. So, I'm glad he likes it. I just, um, definitely, if I make it again, hopefully uh, my tension will be better, or I'll just go down a hook size. I normally make my amigurumi with an elf hook, sometimes a G, so I might try to make the same pattern eventually um, with an elf or G hook, hoping that it will tighten it up a little bit. I don't know why it got so rough for me. It's just, you know... I guess I was just having a bad day. <laughs> well, that is my what, third with third finished object. Four if you count the bottle. <laughs> okay, it fell on the floor. Okay. All right, my fourth finished object is another square. This was for Jada and Stitch's 2017 calendar blanket that I started in January, I think. Um, <clears throat> I already made January, February, and March's square back then in like January. So I made April's. I made this yesterday. I crocheted it all yesterday and this morning when I got up I sewed it all together. And it was a bunny square. It's bow ties crooked. <laughs> I've been a lot more slack with my... What, is, what am I trying to say? I haven't been as picky about my crochet lately as I normally am. Not as hard on myself and all that. I'm trying to relax a little. So uh, I think his bow tie looks fine. I did the eyes different because for some reason the eyes on her blanket that she made they're like they have the um the white parts I don't know what that's called and it makes them look angry so I've just been doing lines to make them not look so angry and I stitched the mouth into pink I think it's cute it was really quick and I, I really love her square patterns for these the next one that I'll be doing is May and it's a flower it'll be really quick because it's only got like one little applique on it I think like a bug or something I can't remember but, um, yeah, I love this. It came out super quick. 
uh, getting really good at sewing on my pieces without the yarn showing through. <laughs> she teaches a method on how to do that and it's helped a lot with my hiding those ends. <laughs> but yeah, I really love these squares. I can't wait to finish the whole blanket and get it sewn together. And then my last finished object, right? Yes, is also Jaden Stitches um, applique. It is for the 2019 calendar blanket, which is called the Folk Art something <laughs> calendar blanket and it was the sun applique she put out um a, a week or so ago it was the end of yeah it was it marches yeah <laughs> it was the marches portion of it so the next part will come out towards the end of april and i did it in two colors Ugh, it's hard to hold it it's really big this is actually a bright orange color it looks kind of red but it's orange and yellow i think it's bright yellow and this is something I don't remember what yarn it is it's not red heart it's a different yarn brand but then I also wo woven all of my ends for the rest of the blanket <laughs> so I'm calling that a finished object because this piece is finished um the blanket's not finished obviously but this part is and I really like this this was super quick to crochet the worst part was sewing it on because you have to sew all these little spiky bits on separately and that took forever but um I did it while watching YouTube videos so that helped the time fly a little bit so that's actually a lot of crochet for me for lately because I've been kind of slacking off. <laughs> Just been really busy with other life things and haven't been able to crochet as much as I want to or I haven't even really wanted to crochet a whole lot. So yeah, that's all my fish objects. And like I said, I don't have a lot of active whips that I'm um, working on right now. I actually don't have any that I've been working on. <clears throat> I was doing really good with the narwhal, but I, I seen that I messed up on a part, so I ripped it back, and then I ended up losing my stitch place, so I just got angry, and I ripped the whole thing out and started it over, so, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm less along in it than I was last time I showed you, and, uh, I'll finish it eventually, or it'll be a hibernating project that Santa hibernated for almost a year before I finished him, but he did get done, so I wanted to share a couple other things with y'all, one is, um, Hobby Lobby, if you have one near you, some of their crochet stuff is clearanced out. I got some little project bags the other day, one to send to someone, and another one that I wanted to buy it just so I could take it apart and use it as a pattern to make my own bags with, because I really like the style of bag, and it looks like it's going to be super simple to do. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to experiment with that the next time Jessie's being babysat, so that I can spread out all my stuff on the floor and all that, but, um, and they have some hooks and some stitch markers and things like that. Um, a lot of the shawl pins are on clearance at my Hobby Lobby. And over towards, in my Hobby Lobby, where the um, material scraps are kept, or the returns are little pieces and they sell them for like a discounted price, that's where they keep uh, the book, the crafting book um, clearance. So I was over there uh, the other day. I always go over and look at the material scraps, see if there's any I can buy to make bags with. Um... <clears throat> But I saw a big stack of books, so I started flipping through them, and a lot of them were cross-stitch and that plastic canvas stuff. I can't remember what it's called. But there were also some knit and crochet ones. So I, I went through all of them, and I found two crochet ones that I bought because um, I thought they would be good to have on hand. And this one is an Annie's Crochet uh, book. It was originally $14.99, but it was marked down to $3.74. And it's 101 stitches for afghans. And it's just a bunch of different stitch patterns to make afghans with, or really anything you want to make with. Um, and I love it because all the pictures are color in it, which helps me see the, de the definition on the stitches better than in black and white. So you can tell if it's going to make the right texture that you want. But there's already a bunch in here that I want to um, play with. And then this one is a Leisure Arts book, and it was originally $12.95, marked down to $3.23. And it's called A Year of Afghans Book 16. They had a few other ones there, but I'll flip through it. And this is the one that had the most Afghans that I wanted to make. And I figured for uh, less than $4, getting 12 patterns is really good. There's a few patterns in here that I really like. The January's is one that I thought was real pretty. I really like the border on it. And let's see here. I really like the... July one. It's like a patriotic one. Let me find it. I hear it's just like a chevron with stars on it. I thought that was pretty. 
And the December one I like a lot too because it kind of looks like Mikey's pattern. Where is it? <laughs> uh, the, what's it called? Peppermint uh, blanket. <laughs> I made his snow, Scandinavian snowflake one. It's actually sitting underneath where you guys are. But uh, he has another one that's the peppermint throw and I've been wanting to make it. But uh, I just haven't got around to it. And then I saw this. This is similar to it but it's not the same pattern. It's actually by a different person. And the attaching is different, but it's really similar to his pattern. So I thought I might give that a go since I have it in the book. I have his pattern downloaded. I just haven't printed it out or anything. This looks almost just like it, but his is joined differently. But maybe that is it in just a different, um... Uh... No, see, it says it's designed by Carol G. Wilder. But it is super simple to, or similar to his, including the border. The border is like the same as the one he uses, which is kind of weird. But it's, it's almost like a copy of his, but it is attached differently. The square, the, what are those? Octagon, not octagons, hexagons. <laughs> but yeah. So, but there's also a bunch of other uh, Afghans in here that I really like. It would be kind of fun to make all of them, like throughout a year. I might do that maybe next year. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah. So that was really cheap for all these different patterns you know so even that their full prices that would have been a good deal but yeah <laughs> well, that's the only acquisitions I have other than um flex frame frames <laughs> I got some of those in the mail I ordered one batch and they were too long and then I ordered a replacement batch and they were too small so now I have slightly longer ones and really small ones to do something with the longer ones I can make slightly larger notion pouches but then little ones I have not done what I'm gonna do with them they're like that wide, maybe like coin purses or something. I don't even know. Um, but then I was gifted some. Luckily, someone uh, bought some and sent them to my house for me, and they were the perfect size. So that made my day a lot better because I already had the bags made and ready for them. And I was bummed out because I wasn't going to be able to post them. But then those showed up, and it was just perfect timing and perfect placement. So I got them in the shop. Some have already sold, but I got some here that I haven't sold yet. I was going to show you guys. Because I know some of you haven't actually seen these bags before. We call them crab bags because um, I could never remember what they're called. The little fixtures. So I would always do this to Devin. And he would he made it like a crab hand. So that's just, it's stuck. But I have two different sizes. I have one that's considered, I call it a notions pouch size. And one is a hook case. But you can also use it for sunglasses because apparently Hannah is a Cozy Cottage Crochet. She ordered one and is using it for sunglasses. And my mom wanted me to make her one for sunglasses that I did. And hers were pretty with sunflowers on it. I wish I took a picture of it. <laughs> I liked it like the most of all of them. But um, yeah, so I'll show you. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six Notion Pouch size in the shop right now. One is this Galaxy print. And you, you just kind of... I don't know what it's called. You just kind of squeeze it and it pops up when there's like a metal fixture through there. And this is just black on the inside. See? And then there is one with little cactuses on it. I think it's white on the inside. Yeah, yeah it is white. And then there's one with fruits and candy. It's pink on the inside. These are about three and a half inches wide and about five inches long. I have two of this this print. I really like this print. <laughs> I love anything colorful, as you can tell. <laughs> um, I don't know what I don't know what to call that. And it's got another kind of crazy orange and two different shades of orange and yellow print in there. You can't see it, but it's another bright print. But there are two of those. And then the last one is Snoopy, and it's white on the inside. Those are the Notion Pouch ones. So, for reference, this is a Notion Pouch size. This is a hook one. These are the hook ones. I have one in Galaxy print. I think it's just black. Yeah, it is also black. <laughs> but these will fit. I've put all kinds of hooks that I have in there. They all fit with room to spare. So, and my polymer clay ones that's got decorations on them, they fit in here. The big chunky handled ones fit in here. A pair of scissors would fit in here. Sunglasses reading glasses whatever and then I got this one that is just a flower print and I can't remember what color it is I think it's a blue it's like a navy blue <laughs> and then I have a sugar skull one it's got a bigger one on this side <laughs> it is what color is it on the inside black 
And then I have Mickey Mouse. I had a mini one, but it sold. And it's got little Mickey Mouse heads. Black with white little Mickey Mouse shaped heads. I don't know if you can see it. And then I have a mermaid one. And it's inside is scales. Hook case. And then the last one is the sweet print. Again, with pink on the inside. So these are the ones that are currently available. And I will be making more of these as I get scrap material. Um, <clears throat> that's what I made all these ones with, was with scrap material. And um, so I, I do have some more project bags listed right now. I've got like four or five still in the shop. And I got material to make more. I'm just going to be doing that this next couple of weeks. Let's see here. I got another yard of the the llama print <laughs> that everybody seems to love. I got some with cats on it and some with dogs on it. I got a tie-dyed one. I got... I can't remember. <laughs> I got enough, I think, to make 16 more back sets. So those will be coming up. Hopefully this next coming weekend, if I can get some interfacing. I went last weekend when I bought all of my material and three stores that I went to were all sold out of the interfacing that I wanted which was the um the medium weight uh interfacing but I couldn't find it anywhere <laughs> and I need that for the zipper notion pouches the bigger um uh, notion pouches so hopefully I can get a hold of some of that this coming week um I may have to drive further out of town to get some I don't, don't want to order it because I hate waiting for stuff to come in the mail but yeah, that's everything. Looking around me, that's everything. I um, guess I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here and um, go have some fun with my boys. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, if you stuck around this long, thank you. <laughs> uh, thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you think someone else will. Subscribe if you're not. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.